What's up, all the followers and random viewers? Because I expect this video to get some random people on this watching this video. Well, the reason is this: I got the most mind-blowing press released uh, a few days ago, coincidentally on my birthday, which one could have imagined is kind of a prank or just a joke maybe a lengthy one but this came forwarded to me as Imperiumis editor-in-chief so basically not straight to me but anyway a press letter or press release from prosthetic records now like i probably i'm going to write on the title or in the description box and that's why you're probably watching this video is the really release of this meme band can you actually think anything more ridiculous than a meme metal band? Now, I will read this uh, press release part by part and I will also comment it right away so I don't forget anything. So, if you will, I will just alt tab to my Word screen and kind of read it to you piece by piece. Be patient, this is amount to blow your mind. Well, at least it's going to be really ridiculous. So, uh, this is August 9th, 2018, and the title or topic is Anti-Fascist Black Metal Trio Neckbeard, Neckbeard you know, uh, death, death, Neckbeard Death Camp signed to Prosthetic Records. First of all, well, I'm anti-fascist black metal. Yeah, it's a clearly it's a political thing. Well, if there are people who think it's pretty sweet, well, to create a um, you know, kind of an anti-fascist black metal. Go ahead. I, I don't give a damn because I'm not politically tied. But Nick Beard Death Camp. Really? That is the first uh, sign of a joke. Now, this LP is named White Nationalism is for Basement Dwelling Losers. This is going to be out November 23rd. Uh, I don't know what to say really because this kind of a um, title for an album sounds like high level autism and i don't want to you know uh, offend people with real autism but come on this is like who is going to name an album like this if it wasn't for as a joke but this goes worse now pre-orders now available hide your fedora you know the type of idiot that chose hat put your copy of atlas shrugged in safe the book that, uh, well, an interesting person wrote some 60 years ago. Delete your 4chan gold account. What? Bury your Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the backyard. So now it's basically uh, targeting geeks also. The year of the Neckbeard has come to close. Anti-fascist super soldiers Neckbeard Death Camp have officially joined the prosthetic records roster. So basically, to me, it sounds they are trolling, trolling, trolling. Not only uh, right wingers, obviously, not only uh, geeks, not only computer related people, but basically just trolling people of all around. Now, this continues. Merciless, you crushing militant black metal. Seriously, militant? <laughs> uh, on the eternal walk, war crusade from Border France, Neckbear Death Camp. Immediately broke the internet, internet via Reddit with the release of their new album, White Nationalism is for Basement Dwelling Losers. Moment, moment uh, after its announcement on July 21st, the new album completely sold out the physical copies and skyrocketed to the top selling spot on Bandcamp for over a week. Set for our official release on November 23rd, 2018, via Prosthetic Records, initial LP pressings for white nationalism for basement dwelling losers are limited to 250 red and black swirl and 250 red. Now, I would imagine this kind of a band name and also this kind of a title name for an album would be something really, really American. Uh, I don't know, I don't live in the States, but fedoras are, well, <laughs> you have to go really deep into uh, uh, the, the kind of a heart of uh, hard geekism and usually probably targeting some, I don't know, Unix people to uh, see Fedora over here, that is. And those are not the people who are politically right, probably more left 
or just you know neutral. So uh, I don't know whether this Fedora thing is doing here, except uh, it's, it's in, in this case that it might be some American thing. Yu-Gi-Oh cards that is like Pokemon and whatnot. So uh, I don't know. Maybe this is a French thing, but this is getting really weird. Now there is a uh, uh, link to where you can basically pre-order this uh, album. I don't know who would like to pre-order an album that is joke. I don't know who would actually buy that on Bandcamp when it's joke. Well, now there is some uh, other information. Dedicated to proprietors of the National Socialist Movement, Neckbeard Death Camp satirizes, that is exactly, satirizes, white nationalist bedroom blackmail bands and the slime sucking film that keeps Whitehead in our newsfeed, slamming the alt right with vicious, unapologetic, black and brutality. Now, I don't care what people actually sing in black metal, uh, be it politically left or politically right. I just usually like to keep politics out of my music, but I mean, to each his own. But, you know, create kind of a meme band and then put it in the context of black metal. That sounds some really stupid joke. Uh, I've already made a video about humor bands and joke bands and basically I cannot stand it because usually when bands are creating music as joke they don't invest in the emotional or intelligent level they kind of turn everything into joke. I mean because they know it's a joke why not create good riffs for that kind of music? I mean usually when people want to joke they don't want to put maximum effort, but on the contrary, they just want to do the minimal effort. So that basically means it's kind of a left or riffs or just some randomly quickly created music, which is not supposed to sound good, because why bother? You don't find cute production there, you don't find clever lyrics there, because usually joke music, well, who wants to be the target of a joke? Who wants to be joke in the first place? I mean, if you're a clown in a circus or a whatever, then it's a different case, obviously. If you're a stand-up comedian, then you're still a stand-up comedian. But comedic music, uh, it's not gonna work. Sorry, guys. Now, there's some um, quotes from media, like Revolver saying, well memed, boys, well memed. Yeah, well memed, but that doesn't mean that this band is anything worthwhile listening to. Uh, Crack.com then again said, Neckbeard Death Camp is the protest band we need right now. Really, do we need protest band of any kind? Well, if we need a protest band, it's supposed to be something that is taken seriously, not as a joke, because this joke also targets the ones that actually do this. Now, if I was, was a politically left person and like really anti-fascist and really anti-Nazi, anti-white, anti-whatnot, now I would like to be taken seriously, not as a joke. I wouldn't target geeks, I wouldn't target Unix users or people playing collectible card games, because that would be kind of like really idiotic. Now also there's a little racist point there, which is kind of curious. It's anti-white, like white nationalism, blah, blah, blah. So it's basically not condemning black nationalism. We know that it's there, it's out there. Not yellow, that is Asian uh, nationalism and so forth. So basically it's only targeting white people, which sounds a little bit bizarre. I mean, if it was just, you know, targeting nationalism or just, you know, national socialism, I would kind of understand it a little bit better. Unless this is a really clever joke, which I'm not kind of like unlocking and, or, and opening right now, ciphering, if you will, then I think these guys didn't think it all the way through. Maybe that's because they are French because I think uh, people fluent in English would have figured this out by already, because I'm figuring it out already and I'm not you know, fluent in English. I'm not native English speaking guy. Now, Noisy uh, has quoted Neckbeard Death Camp, uh, Death Camp's disgustingly brutal new raw black metal album, white nationalism is for basement dwelling losers, fucking rules on every possible front, anti desist and outright obliterating federal crossing militant black metal forever. Well, clearly, we are living on a different planet. But I guess that's how things go. So here this continues. Founded in 2018, so a really new band. Uh, one can only imagine how much time and effort they have actually put on songwriting. Death Camps is composed of Super Commando Uber Wiener Schnitzel, 
Well, Wiener Schnitzel is, if you don't know, a kind of a steak. So even these titles give the indication that they are just making jokes here. Like Rockstar Games has this joke on Grand Theft Auto video game series like uh, Pizza Wasser Beer, which sounds legit German, except it actually means peace water. So this is kind of the same kind of a joke, not to be taken seriously. This Uber Wiener Schnitzel is on guitar. So guys, it's, it's basically a overstake is two guitars very serious stuff hails comrades on drums so basically hello guys is doing drums and kriegmaster hates term on the mic well that is actually like warmaster hate storm so kind of makes sense in the context coming together via facebook the snake bear death can create and release one of the most talked about albums of the year in just two weeks now poised with their new album new label home prosthetic records snake bear death camp are Primed to piss even more people of starting with the announcement of their anticipated appearance at the Justitian Rights Festival on June 7, 2019 in South Dakota. Well, yeah, probably gonna piss. That's why I'm basically doing this video. I'm giving their like this visibility and people are now oh, clicking all the way uh, listening to it. Well, you feel free to do that. I have so much, you know, so many promos on my list that I'm gonna not gonna waste my time here. We'll see if it comes to my promotion someday but not right not, not right now so here's the quote from the band we are delighted to have our efforts recognized by colossal might of prosthetic records may the light of light of hope leave the sight of our enemies and be followed only by the darkest depths of despair combined now uh, their power with ours and the next record will be without mercy forgiveness or pity states Creek master Haystrom. kind of a typical blah 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 whatever our album bleep bleep root and I do Kind of a lame statement after this stupid trolling. I'm honored to join forces with prosthetic in restoring strength and honor. See the Nazi comment there? To black metal. Hail black metal, hail victory. Affirms hails. So basically, now we are using National Socialist uh, statements here. So basically, they are trolling Nazis with kind of being Nazi. Are you getting the idea? It seems they are not so much criticizing Nazis but except with their own tools. So maybe they are not anti-Nazi in the first place, but more like just a humor band. We look forward together with prosthetic, re prosthetic records to bring about the necessary desecration of 1.488.1.488.1.488 racist Neanderthals at Super Commando. Now, if you're not familiar with 1488, it's obviously related to Nazi stuff. 88 being like double H, meaning like Hail Hitler and stuff. And 14 is something like four letters. You might, we must hear the future of black children and blah, blah, blah. I am not totally, I don't totally remember exactly how it goes, but I know that it's related to that. But having those kind of a clans uh, stated there, it's like pff, really uh, stupid. As the fires of Nick Bird, a fascism kindle, uh, or kindle in the collapsing United States, a spark will be exterminated by also might of Nick Bird death camp. Yet another no meaning sentence. Pre-order the white national invisible basement dwelling losers at link, and then this is a track list. Number one is cocked, and uh, in parenthesis, intro. Then the second track, the left are the real fascist. See, another trolling at the, at the left. Number three, cyclone. Slash B slash that is obviously a 4chan thing. Then this is track number four XXX L Oberstrom Fur Leather Duster. Uh, clear choke title, uh, you know. Uh, track number five Insult Warfare. Track number six Please Respond. And in parenthesis, I showed you my penis, which is yeah, kind of a something like Instagram slash Facebook slash Telegram slash whatever uh, reference. Track number seven, the fetishization of Asian women despite of demand for a pure white, a pure race, in parenthesis, outro. And then there is finally, Neckbeard, Dead Can't Be, Screakmaster, Hatestorm, Vocals, Piano, Noise, Production, Super Commando, Uber, Wiener, Snitchel, Guitars and Bass, and Hales, Comrades, Drums, and then finally, the online Bandcamp link. Now, I'm not gonna say it leaves me speechless, because nothing actually 
does, unless I'm dead, of course. But to me, this is actually not so much so much a uh, anti-white or anti-Nazi, but all level of trolling. It attacks geeks, um, obviously journalists as well is going to be trolled, and uh, also NSBM bands, obviously um, also left-wing people and people who take metal seriously, like I guess most people do. So basically this is just, you know, trying to troll everybody in metal. Uh, that's quite an attempt, and if you can do it, it's quite a feat actually. But to be honest, I don't know how well these kind of jokes are supposed to be. Come on, it's like meme man. Say, let's, if we compare this to Japanese baby metal, for example, they were like basically not trolling, but getting the attention while using uh, teenager or pre-teenager Japanese girls with, you know, uh, school skirts and whatnot doing metal with Japanese teenager vocals and all that stuff. That was just, I don't know, it was bizarre, it was really Japanese. But this is so obvious at them to troll that I find this hard to actually, you know, get any wind under its wings after like a couple of days or more. I mean, like, it's really weird to even start imagining, you know, that this would actually hold anything viable. I mean, like I said, it's if this was like April Fool's, it would be actually a great thing. But this would be actually press release in the middle of August, and they would actually spend money on releasing this album on vinyl and whatnot. Makes no sense, obviously. And doing gigs also. Well, these guys must be desperate for attention, because rather than creating a real band with really good music, these guys are spending more time on creating a joke band. Or maybe this is just all folks. I mean, maybe none of these gigs are happening. Maybe this uh, album isn't even going to be printed. Who knows? This might be just some kind of April Fool's just a few months late. But if they're actually going to put some money on this and lots of effort to create a an album and then do gigs and spend time on internet trolling, I mean, wow, people must have some extra time to do it all. Because, I mean, I like jokes and I like sort of pranks too, but to spend time of creating this makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely no sense. Maybe these guys are just musicians who couldn't do a good album, or maybe they did quite a few albums but never got the attention from the press press or the metal scene and then they just you know fed up now we have to do something else let's just you know let's put our every effort and try trolling the metal community and let's see if we can pull it through because other than that just sell your equipment and all that that's basically everything i can think of because well choke is a joke and it keeps laughing as long as it can and then you're done with it what are your thoughts of De uh, Neckbeard Death Camp? Cool or not cool or just plain stupid? Drop your comments and thoughts below and we'll continue from that. Thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoy this bad. Or maybe not. See ya!